Hello there, this is Stephen Ball at Delphi Ball. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to create records into the database through REST. So we're going to be using RAD Server as our RESTful database engine. And we're going to be using the TEMS dataset resource component to broker the REST requests into the query that is on our uh, data module into the database. And we're going to be using a feature of FireDAC, which is the auto ink fields. And we're going to show you how you can set that up and use that with Interbase to create records with auto incrementing fields and return back to the client then the ID of the record that has been created. So through this video, we're going to have a quick look at a sample database that we have created. We'll then build the RAD server setup and test it using the REST debugger. So let's get straight in. So let's have a quick look at the database. Um, here I've got uh, the basketball database that I've been uh, working with recently. Here we have a student's table and on the student's table we have a student ID, which uh, let's have a quick look at the metadata here. We can see this is an integer type and it's not null, so it needs to have a value in it. We have a first name, last name and a license number. So we're just going to look at trying to put the first name, last name in um, so we can update the license number later on. Um, but also we need to make sure that we get the student ID created. And that should be happening from the database. So to support this, we have a generator. Um, here we have a generator called gstudent, which is going to be giving the ID for the student table. And uh, yeah, let's get into building our RAD server. So let's go file new, other, and we're going to build a RAD server package. And we're just going to call this uh, data. I'm not going to have any of the samples in here. I'm literally just going to put a RESTful endpoint in. So I just need to connect that to the employee, uh, sorry, to the basketball database. Let's go and have a look at the student table. And there we are. We now have our RAD server module. So on the EMS dataset resource, we just need to set in here that the student ID is the key field. And on the FIDAC query, if we scroll down, we we'll see that there is a number of options listed under Update Options. Now, under the Update Options, what uh, we need to do is say, right, Auto Ink Fields are going to be the student ID. And to generate the auto incremented number, we need to use the generator, which is GStudent. And that is it. So let's go ahead and open this in the browser and we can quickly see that we've got the data coming through. So first of all, uh, data students, we can see that we've got three records in the table at the moment. So I'm going to use REST debugger now. So yeah, here we are, REST debugger. Now we've set this up to be a post method, a localhost 8080, which is the base URL. And this is application JSON that I'm going to be sending in. Now, in terms of the resource, we're pushing to the data students endpoint. And here, the custom body that I'm going to send in is just the first name and last name. And you can see I previously sent one in uh, for Charlotte, which is why we've seen three records in before. So let's put a new name in here. Uh, let's put in Harvey and send. And we can see now that we've got ID four. And uh, if we put in Eden, ID five. And if we now go back to our endpoint and just refresh, we can now see that we've got four and five in there. So we can see the data's come through and has loaded through. So there we are, we've seen the sample database with the generator, the ID integer field in Interbase, RAD server and the FIDAC components and the TEMS dataset resource components set up very simply to use that generator and to know where the primary fields are that we're triggering and then the rest debugger just to be able to test it through quickly.